guys welcome to today's video so today we are catching up on the favorite mixes videos and we've combined june uh Jul june and july so we're working in this amalfi cotton paper sketchbook so i have a video about this i'll try and link it below and i really love this paper um we will be using the escoda reserva number no. six which is my favorite brush and so then to get started as usual we will um, sketch one of these little emblems and I know I've been promising you um, some videos about how to do these so they are going to be coming up probably next month so I've been working on like some printables and things that can go along with it so that you can trace them and use them as guides and you know use them to kind of mix and match um, parts and learn kind of the different ways to do it so that is all coming up it's been being worked on and it's almost ready so hopefully next month we can uh, work on these a little bit more on the page as kind of a heading and also to practice some different skills like the um, calligraphy and I do have printables for that I get a few questions about that I have some in my shop um, I'll link that below and then also um, I am working on the capital letters video will be on these um, handmade paints and so there are a few new ones you can see there and I'm working on like a new palette and so we'll go through all the palettes out and everything we'll start swatching those next um, week but um, I just kind of wanted to, to go back and do um, these mixes because I really love this and I and I think that um, uh, these mixes and this like exercise that we do today is a really good one to practice some of the things that we learn so first of all here I'm just um, swatching out Daniel Smith Mayan Red and the Rhodonite and then mixing those together to create a beautiful raspberry color Most um, starter sets come with a warm and a cool red like this and you'll be able to just mix any that you have like a Quinn Rose or um, you know anything like that and then you can see for the next mix I added some of that Pale Wisteria by Turner so you could add a little bit of purple and a little bit of white as well just to create those really nice um, milky kind of colors there. So this next mix is Opera Rose and the Jean Brillant Number no. 2 by Holbein. So um, you can see I really love this. It's kind of like a melon color. So super pretty and I think I might have shown this before in some of my favorite mixes. Um, and yeah, we're going to use this color to create a watermelon, like a slice of watermelon. And I think it's a really good way to practice a few different techniques. So we'll go into that. but. Also here, this is a mix of the Opera Rose and Pearl White. So it just creates this beautiful, bright, shimmery pink. And I've also been really loving mixing Sylvia with everything. So this is a handmade holographic watercolor by Nibs Watercolors. And yeah, I've just been loving and this particular mix. Isn't necessarily my favorite, but I've just been mixing it with everything and really enjoying that. And I can't even capture how sparkly and pretty it is on camera here, but it's it's one of my all-time favorites. 
And so next we're mixing Opera Rose with Daniel Smith Sedona to create kind of a shadow color for the um, the Opera Rose and the Jean Bruyette. So often I like to mix um, the color that I'm using with like a, a brown or a violet earth to create a shadow tone. So you can see here that I am using the, this is the Skoda uh, Versatil, it's a number 20, so it's a really large brush, the other one's at number 6, and but for the size of the brush it doesn't hold much water because of the synthetic bristles, um, so it, it has its um, pros and cons, it's, it means that it doesn't hold that much water if you're trying to like um, cover a page like that you're gonna have to dip it quite a few times but it also means I'm I'm able to use a large brush and large brush strokes and not waste pigment so um, I really love that about this brush and so what we've just done is wet the page and now I'm going back in with some of that um, the mix that we used that kind of melon mix with the opera rose and you can also, if you don't have this Holbein color, you can um, create it with like an orange and yellow and a like a white. So you can see here, I am going back in with the uh, Daniel Smith. This is the Thalo Green Yellow shade. And um, if you have just a phthalo green, you can just add a touch of yellow to that. And then I am also going in with some stripes with the Holbein leaf green, which again, if you have a green, you can just add um, quite a bit of yellow to that. French Ochre by Daniel Smith and I am just adding in again for another layer of that texture that's on the watermelon um, and then now we're lifting out some places where we're going to add the pips so you can see here that we've like we've already um, practiced washes and then softening and dropping colors into the that wash and now we are lifting out of the wash so you wait until it's starting to dry is what I like to do if, if it's not a staining color you know it's it's fine to wait a little bit till it's starting to dry and it helps you control those um, little areas that you're trying to lift out otherwise they'll keep um, you know the watercolor will keep sort of moving into that area that you've lifted out so you I waited here a little bit till it was nearly dry and then um, lifted those out a couple of times just by picking it up with my paintbrush, a clean paintbrush, and then um, dropping, um, wiping it on a paper towel. And I also used Daniel Smith Hematite and then the French Ochre as well to kind of soften that out because I thought it was just a bit too dark. And then we go back in, we're kind of letting everything dry now. So we're just practicing some little raspberries over on this page and with that raspberry mix we did and then putting some Sedona, the Sedona mix um, for shadows on one side. So you can see here, I'm just adding a bit of this uh, Sylvia, the holographic watercolor, just for a little bit of extra sparkle there. And I did lift out the rim around where the, like, um, you know, you get that kind of white part where the middle of the watermelon meets the skin. So I lifted that out as well. Um, so here you can see that was last month's 
were kind of more soft and smoky colors and then these ones are kind of more bright and cheery It is not the longest video. I'm kind of taking my time here uh, trying to get back into filming and everything. And we do have a few really good videos coming up. Landscape videos. We've got the next week we'll be swatching all these um, new watercolors. And there are still a couple of packages I'm hoping will arrive pretty shortly. And also a Jackson's one. So we can do the gold gouache. And... Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a really lovely weekend and I will um, see you next week with all these swatches. Bye.